Hello everybody, welcome back to Retro Games with Craig. Be where I live. Let's just go ahead and jump right into Sinistar. Um, just get it out of the way. <laughs> and no, this game uh, is another one of those ones. It's It has been done before, and you can already see why I say that. Why it's been done before, and all of that stuff. And I'm actually doing a lot better than I thought I would be. But, um, there is the fact that uh, I'm not getting these asteroids at all. Okay, there's one. Ah, come on. There's another one. Did it steal that? Ah, damn it, mind. He lives! He is going to kill me! Uh, died already, Sinistar. <laughs> oh my. Oh no, he just straight up wrecked me. Yeah, um, basically Sinistar in a nutshell. Already just ah, and yeah, you gotta you gotta mine the oh no, he got in my way, and it's not like I had enough cine bombs to actually do a major amount of damage to him. It's nope, I did not. Uh, yeah, that's basically my career with this game too. Is uh, basically I just completely get wrecked by Sinistar every single time. I've never once gotten past, like, even the first stage of this game. Um, and, oh man, those Cine bombs are just going away. Oh, you bastards. Okay. I want to see how far I can actually get in this game now that I, I'm a little bit better of a gamer, I would say. Uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not what I was when I was, a, when I was younger. I hunger. Um, he's not actually gathering his parts very quickly this time around, which is very interesting. And that's another thing, too. It's kind of random, uh, when he's going to actually come at you, bro. Uh, because he has to find his pieces. Uh, he is scattered all throughout space. So he's, oh, he's like two or three pieces away from being complete. Um, and so, yeah, you have, the, like, you have that time. Uh, you have time to gather up, um, gather up. Oh, oh, he's right there. Oh, you got in my way. Oh, man. This is like the best I've ever done. Ah, no, 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 no. This can't end now. Not like this. I refuse to die on anything less than Sinistar himself. Come on, Cine bombs. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, no, I lost him. Where are you, you bastard? Ah. Hectic. And yeah, this is, um... Oh, man. Oh, no! Ah! Oh, jeez. And yeah, if, like, as soon as he's complete, basically, and you saw it too, is basically when he's complete, he basically goes straight for you. He, yeah! Exactly. He goes straight for you. He doesn't hold any mercy against you. Everything is hectic. Everything is just coming at you all at once. You barely have time to think. You barely have time to react. Uh, you have to be... You have to be really 
really prepared uh, when you uh, first jump into this game. So let's see how good I did. Uh, I am... <gasps> that is awesome. Today? Oh, well, that's, the, that's just today. What is the top, top score? It's 39? Oh, man. But yes, this is one of those games that I absolutely fell in love with. Uh, when I was a kid, it's um, it's very fast paced, uh, like I said, and there's barely time to think. You have to, have to, have to immediately start farming for the mini bombs, uh, mini bombs, and uh, you immediately just have to start farming and farming and farming and get as many as you can. And if you do find Sinistar at the very, uh, like near the very beginning, you need to start taking them out. Uh, I believe that is the strategy to win against him, is to, if you see him and he's not even complete yet, just go ahead and start bombing him and try to get as many pieces, like, just destroyed as possible, because he will live again. He does hunger, and you will satiate his hunger. Um, so, yeah, uh, definitely uh, about... 8 out of 10 stars. It's probably one of the better games that I had played from this era. Um, it's it's absolutely beautiful. I, I love it. It's 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 my childhood, uh, and not and it's not even my childhood either. It's it's like a couple of moments from my childhood that I just conglomerated into a massive amount of nostalgia into my brain, and surprisingly, every time I pick it up, I don't have any gripes with it. I don't have any criticisms for it. Um, it's always been a good game in my mind, and even through my nostalgia glasses, like, I, I'm saying this right now, I just got done playing it, and, like, usually, when I have my nostalgia glasses on, I can take them off pretty quickly, um, but I, I just can't with this one. If I don't know if uh, I'm just, like, so in love with it, or and it's, like, completely and totally flawed, or if it's actually a genuine gem from this era, and I would recommend that anybody from any era... If you're even slightly interested in retro games, go ahead and give Sinistar a try. You will be... It will be an experience for you. I don't want to say that... Yeah, I, I don't want... I don't like to uh, demean uh, the younger generation by saying that you're doing yourself a disservice by not playing it or anything like that. It's just... It's it's going to be an experience. And uh, regardless of if you loved it or hate it, you're going to come out of that experience for the better. Um, because you'll have an appreciation and stuff like that, and I absolutely enjoy this game, and I, I, I would recommend it to anybody, even for its age. So thank you all so very much for watching. I am done being a complete pretentious twat. So, yes, thank you all so very much for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.